Hi and welcome back to MRTV. This video is all about the Pimax Day 2. As you know, yesterday there was a one and a half hours live stream from Pimax where they announced quite a few interesting news about the Pimax 8K Plus and the Pimax 8K X. Now in this video, I try to condense all that information down to around 20 minutes so that you don't have to sit through all of the one and a half hours Pimax live stream. Also, I'm going to talk about some controversies that came up directly after the live stream in the Pimax forums and all of this goodness is coming up. Yeah, welcome back to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and this channel is all about VR. So if you haven't yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now and click on the bell button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and live streams. All right, before I get into this video, first of all, I would like to tell you, hey, this video I have to re-record it. I re-recorded this video because actually the live stream that I did about this topic, it was good, but the first half I had a microphone problem and I didn't want to keep that version online. That's why I re-recorded this version now with the mic hopefully being all right. Then before we get into the whole Pimax topic, I would like to say that before I was always wondering, hey, why don't the other VR media, the big ones like Road to VR, Upload VR and uh, VR Focus, why don't they cover Pimax as often as they cover Oculus, HTC and other VR companies? But now I know why. The problem is that Pimax simply doesn't do press work. They didn't release a press release, for example, for the Pimax days and if outlets want to talk about Pimax, well, they have to sit through all of, the, all of the one and a half hours of live stream and pick their information themselves, just like I did in order to make this video. So dear Pimax, dear Kevin, if you're watching this, this is definitely one area where you can improve a lot. And I believe it's super beneficial for yourself if you would do more press work and then more outlets will definitely talk about Pimax day one and day two. So this is one thing that I totally wanted to say. But now let's get into Pimax day two. Let's talk about all the things that they announced. And let's start with this now. So first of all, they announced a road show. They're going to go to the EU and to the US. And in Europe, they will be at VR days in Amsterdam, November 14th and 15th. They're going to be in Berlin at VR Berlin, November 27th and they're going to go back to the Netherlands on 1st of December in Gouda. Also in the US, they're going to be at CES 2020 in Las Vegas, January 7th until 10th. Of course, if you want to check out the Pimax 8K Plus that I have here at the MRTV headquarter, you can always do that by visiting me here in Dortmund and joining the MRTV experience. The, the, the link is down in the description. And once I have the 8K X and the final 8K Plus, I'm going to review both of them. And of course, you will be able to check them out here at the MRTV office. All right, so now the next the next news that came out of Pimax Day 2 are the following. So this is an interesting piece of information. Before they talked about the Pimax RE versions, like a ruggedized version with better material and a whole lot of more sturdiness. And now the good news is that this new material and this new housing is going to be applied also to the normal Pimax 8K Plus and Pimax 8KX. So if you're going to buy a Pimax 8KX or Pimax 8K Plus, you will get a version of the headset with the new housing, which is simply more sturdy and that without a doubt is good news. Then now let's talk about the Pimax 8KX, which is the new flagship version with two 4K displays and it does natively receive 4K signals to both eyes. So this should be pretty exciting. So as you've learned also, you get a new ruggedized housing for the Pimax 8KX and you will be able to order it right now. You can pre-order it right now 
from their website. It's going to set you back $1,299 for this version. And it does come with the Pimax modular audio strap. So you will have an audio solution with this. And this is not unlike the Rift S or the Quest where you don't have on your headphones. If you want the, the version which has headphones, then you will need to pay $1,399 and then you have the version with headphones. It says free shipping where available. It is not available for Germany where I am living. And um, yeah, for me, for example, I have to pay $60. All right, let's go to the next page. And the, for the Pimax 8K Plus, it also has two 4K screens. However, they don't receive the native 4K resolution per eye. So they're working with a 1440p resolution, which gets upscaled to two times 4K. And I have a pre-production model here and the screen does look really beautiful. So for this headset also, it does have a ruggedized housing, the new ruggedized housing, and it also comes with the Pimax modular audio strap included and it's going to set you back $999. And you can also pre-order this from the Pimax website right now. So this was the pieces of information for, for new Pimax customers. Now we get to the interesting part for all the people who backed the Pimax Kickstarter. So there are quite a few upgrade plans if you want to upgrade to the Pimax 8K Plus or to the Pimax 8KX. And I'm going to go through all of these upgrade plans right now. And I can tell you it might be a bit confusing for some of you. And that's why I'm trying to make it as concise as possible. So Becker Upgrade Plan A. If you downgraded downgraded from the Pimax 8K to the Pimax 5K Plus, Pimax promised you a $100 coupon. Now you can go for option one or option two if you want to upgrade to the Pimax 8K Plus and the Pimax 8KX and that $100 coupon, it is built into this upgrade plan. So option one, you opt out from all the Becker stretch goals, which means you opt out of the $100 coupon for the wireless mod module, and you opt out of everything else, and you opt out from the base stations and controllers as well, and you opt out from the eye tracking discount, then you can get the Pimax 8K Plus for $449 plus shipping. And if you want to have the Pimax 8KX, then you have to pay $649 also plus shipping. Now option two, also you opt out of all the stretch goals and you opt out from the base station and controllers, but you keep your eye tracking discount, then you have to pay $499 plus shipping for the Pimax 8K Plus and $699 for the Pimax 8KX. Now we go to Pimax upgrade plan B. And this plan is for all the people who did not go for the Pimax 5K Plus, who stick to the Pimax 8K and who stick to the Pimax 5K if they backed it. So now you also have two options. Option one, you opt out from all the backer stretch goals and you opt out from the base stations and controllers and you opt out from the eye tracking discount. Then the Pimax 8K Plus is going to set you back $549 plus shipping. If you want to go for the Pimax 8KX, you're going to have to pay $749 plus shipping. Option two, also opting out from the stretch goals and the base station and controllers, but keeping your eye discount, your eye tracking discount, you gotta pay $599 plus shipping for the Pimax 8K Plus and $799 for the Pimax 8KX. So basically just the same like plan A, but $100 more expensive. Now let's go to Pimax Becker upgrade plan C. Now, this is if you want to keep your bundle, your base station and controller tracking, controller bundle. So first of all, for all the backers who went for the Pimax 5K Plus, if you want to opt out from all the backer stretch goals and keep your bundle and base station and controllers, but also opt out from the eye tracking discount, then you can get the Pimax 8K Plus for $749. If you wanna go for the Pimax 8KX, then you have to pay $949 plus shipping and 
you can get the Pimax 8KX. Option two, you also opt out from all the backer stretch goals. You keep your bundle, base stations and controllers, and you keep your eye tracking discount. Then you have to pay $799 if you want to get the Pimax 8K Plus and $999 if you want to get the Pimax 8KX. Now upgrade plan C. It's the same thing, but $100 more expensive for all the people who stick to the 8K and who, who back the 5K plus. So basically just exactly the same like plan C, but $100 more expensive for the people who, who, who did not choose the 5K plus. All right, let's go to upgrade plan E. Now we're talking about the controllers and the base stations. Now plan E, is for all the people who who are upgrading with plan A or B. So now they don't have base stations and controllers, but now actually they want to have base stations and controllers faster than March 2020 when Pimax is going to chip out their controllers and base stations. So you have to pay $479 plus shipping if you want to have the base stations and the index controllers, the Valve index controllers. This is upgrade, upgrade plan E. Now let's go to upgrade plan F. This is a plan for the people who want to upgrade their existing Pimax bundle and who want to get the index controllers instead of the sword controllers. So for all of the people who don't want to wait until um, March 2000 and 20, they can get this much sooner and they can get the index controller. So they have to pay $179 on top to do that. Now we get to backer upgrade plan G. And this plan is for all the people who backed the Pimax 8KX directly from the beginning. I think it's like 400 or so. So most of these people, they got a loaner unit. Either they got the Pimax 8K or they get the Pimax 5K Plus. Now, there are two options. Either they buy their loaner unit at discounted prices that I'm going to go into now, or they send back their loaner unit. Let's start with keeping the loaner unit. So either keeping the 8K or keeping the 5K Plus. Now, if they want to do so and opt out of the stretch goals, then they have to pay $200 and they can keep their Pimax 5K Plus or they can keep their Pimax 8K. If they want to keep the stretch goals, then they have to pay $450 and they can keep their Pimax 5K Plus or their Pimax 8K. Now, if you want to send back your loaner unit, you can do so and Pimax is going to pay shipping for up to $35. All right, that's it for all the backer upgrade plans. Now we can go to the controller upgrade program. And basically also that's also mentioned in the upgrade plans. But anyways, they put it all into one more slide. So for all the backers who, who back the controllers, they can pay $179 on top and they can get the index controllers. For people who back the controllers in the base stations, they can also add $179 and they can get the base stations and the index controllers. Now for all the people who pre-ordered the controllers and base stations, they have to add $279 to get the base stations and the index controllers. All right, that's it for all the upgrade plans. Now, what is this here? This is a silicone cover, really interesting um, new accessory. So for the people who are afraid of bumping into the wall or of, um, yeah, like uh, having their Pimax being destroyed by it falling down, they can go for this silicone cover. And this is going to set them back or set you back $27. And it comes in different colors. Very interesting. If Pimax sends me over one, I'm totally going to check it out for you. And this should be quite interesting for people who are afraid to destroy their Pimax headsets. Then there's also news about the eye tracking module. So they have changed the price. The prices are now cheaper. So now it's going to cost $199.95 for people who want to buy that eye tracking module and $99.95 for all the backers and who want to still get this eye tracking module and the the shipping starts December 15th of this year.
Yeah, for the three pieces of content that were promised, content number one, the Dream Collector, content number two, the first class VR, and content number three is going to be announced later. And this is going to be a piece of content that is optimized for the Pimax sword controllers. Content number one and two, the Steam um, codes are going to be sent out in this month. Then we have a new Pi Tool update, and this new Pi Tool version was released yesterday. And there's a new firmware, and it supports 120 Hz mode for the Pimax 5K Plus. So you have a true 120 Hz refresh rate, and it works with the small FOV. Then there's a new physical resolu physical resolution reduction mode and you get approximately 10% more performance or frame rate. And what does it do? It's, it limits the, the panel pixel area. And uh, once the FOV is reduced and therefore less pixels have to be rendered and therefore you get the 10% performance gain. Also, you now have a color selection for the front Chevron light where you can switch now between three colors and more colors will be added soon. And that's it. That's it for all the news of Pimax Day 2. Now, let me talk about the controversy that's built up after the live stream in the Pimax forum. So what is this controversy all about? Well, Pimax had promised all the people who chose the Pimax 5K Plus instead of the Pimax 8K a $100 coupon and they said that this $100 can be used for any kind of accessory in the Pimax shop. Now it seems that this is not true anymore and it seems that now people can only use these $100 coupon with Pimax upgrade plan A or C as in if they buy a new Pimax headset, only then will they be able to yeah, get these $100. So of course, the lots of people in the forum were very unhappy about this, especially those who don't want to upgrade because it seems like that now they cannot use this $100 only if they upgrade to a new headset. And unfortunately, until this very moment in time, the Pimax officials have not yet, yeah, yeah, talked about this controversy and there was no official statement yet. So I hope that Pimax officials will soon answer and clarify if it actually is like this, if actually people who don't upgrade will not be able to use these $100 that were promised to them earlier. So this is controversy number one and problem or controversy number two is tax payment. Now, on the website, on the Pimax website, if you want to order a new Pimax headset, for example, me here from the Eurozone, from Germany, if I, if I um, order it from the Pimax website as a new customer, if I go until the very last step, it seems that I don't have to pay taxes for, for the headset. But if I go for the upgrade program as a backer, then in the last step, it will add taxes to my purchase. So that is a bit strange. Nobody knows, do we have to pay taxes? And even if I buy them as a new customer coming from somewhere not in China, most of us are not in China, am I, will I have to pay import tax? Will FedEx or whatever they use, will they charge me this, this kind of import tax? And this is something that is not really very clear right now. And I believe that Pimax officials also need to clarify this as soon as possible. All right, I believe that's everything that I got to say about Pimax day two. And now I want to hear from you. Are you going to buy the Pimax 8KX or Pimax 5 8K Plus? Or are you going to upgrade to it? Or are you going to wait for the MRTV review probably? Or are you probably going to first try it out yourself on the roadshow or here at the Pime, not at the Pimax, at the MRTV headquarters? Please do let me know in the comment section below. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now and click on the bell button so that you don't miss videos like this. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode. Thank <laughs> you.